If you like engineering things out of scrap, this story's for you. Davo's fencing clips, fantastic success story of Aussie engineering and bush ingenuity. Well, hold your horses, Rod's been at it again, he's innovating again, let's find out what he's up to. By now, many of you have probably seen the Davo's insule clip, it's a variation of the Davo's fencing clip that allows you to stick a permanent electric fence insulator onto your posts using a tech screw that won't drop off the post or break. To make these though, Rod, you've had to be cutting up little bits of plastic pipe with this. It gets you going, but it's not very efficient. People um, standing here swinging on a drop saw for an hour. I notice you've got a template here at least. Yes, made up a very fancy template bracket that made it twice as good. So if anyone's been buying these up till now, they know that someone has literally stood here and cut every single one of them by hand. They have, yeah. That had to stop, didn't it? Not that, a good use to labour. No, not a good use to labour, and it's taken me a couple of years to find the time to build another machine. But manufacturing machines are expensive, so you built it yourself. Oh yeah, just on the weekends, a bit of a hobby. So this is it, Rod, the pride and joy, weekends of work. Yeah, this is, uh, fills in the weekends. This started on uh, Boxing Day this year, and I've just finished it now in the middle of uh, March. Can we take the cage off and have a look at what's underneath here and go through piece by piece how this machine works? Because yep. there's a lot of thought and engineering gone into this. Now Rod, we've got to point the bleeding obvious out here before we go any further. You've based this whole machine around a set of Gardena pruning shears that Nana would use on our rose bushes. Yeah, I was started out thinking I'll just build a, build a cutter. And then I thought, oh, I reckon I can buy a set of cutters for 50, 60 bucks. And um, if they fail, I'll just put another just one in there. Just buy another pair. Yeah, and it's ready to go. All the lengths and angles worked out perfect. Okay, I'll start off at the beginning. We've got a coil of poly here on the um, spinner, just a homemade spinner, which comes up through this way to this next device, which is what I call a hitch feed. So that's made out of um, three inch long link chain that you'd find on a um, hay feeder or a hay feed out sidewinder wagon. And that's just operating, it uh, grips it one way and it slips the other way so it'll pull it up with almighty, almighty amount of force and then it just slides back. Slides it up and then we come up here through to here which is a um, crankshaft. So here on the crank uh, it's set out a certain distance, which adds up to cutting poly at 100 millimetres long once it feeds it up. And then once it feeds it up, you notice the set of shears here, obviously. And down the back, way over here, this is a mm, sort of a can. But that bit there comes around and flicks the shears up to do the cutting. And that's pretty much the guts of it. Now, what happens when you run out of pipe, mate? When it runs out of pipe, I made a switch yesterday. So we come back down here, and hopefully you can see it. Uh, when the poly runs out, there's a roller here, which rolls across the off switch and switches it off. So you don't have to wait around for it to finish a roll. It'll stop itself. So you can set a roll at five o'clock at night, go in and have a cup of tea, and come back and it's all done. Yep, that's the go. Well Rod, good Aussie engineering, using scrap lying around the workshop to build a machine to create a new product that'll solve people's problems on the fence line. Absolutely love it. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Guys, <laughs> don't forget, if you like great ideas, good stories, and excellent products, hit the little subscribe button and you won't miss out on a single video. Let's watch this go. Oh, that's another machine built and uh, off the list of jobs. <laughs>